the RX 500H, a car that I feel like not many people know about and therefore can't appreciate. But today, by the end of this video, I'm going to sell you one. I'm Dustin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. And today, I'm going to go over the 500H RX and go over some tips, tricks, and just overall details that I've learned in the last year. The outside styling is gorgeous and it's very easy for anyone to see that. But what you can't see is what's on the inside, which makes the RX 500 just another step up. It all opens up with the e-latch doors. So once you open up the door, you're greeted by a few details that I love. One of them being ultra suede. Ultra suede is strung all through the inside of the RX 500 on the seats, on the dashboards, in little areas like that. It's sort of like an Elcantara, but it holds up a little bit better. Also, you'll notice in this package, we have the Mark Levinson sound system, which is very crisp and has amazing sound quality. Okay, so the toughest thing for me to talk about when it comes to the 500H is also the main reason to buy it. And that is the driving experience as a whole. And what I mean by that is the RX 500H makes hybrids come off as not boring anymore. And what I mean by that is it used to be in 1998, if you had a hybrid, it was assumed that you were just really fuel economy focused, you're very practical, all those things. But now with things like the RX 500H, it creates that fun factor, again, for driving. And this is due to a six speed transmission attached to that 2.4 liter turbocharged engine with the hybrid attached to that. And how I can describe it is, it's very smooth power. At a stop, that gas engine's gonna turn off, it's gonna be very smooth, and then if you wanted to step on it really quick, you can feel that transmission gear down, you can feel that turbocharged engine kick on, and you can really feel the acceleration in a very smooth, linear fashion. But also, on the inside, it's a Lexus. So very well appointed, very great ergonomics. The ultra suede on the seats really keep you in place, and Today being a very cold day, it really warmed up quickly because of the ultra suede instead of just full leather. Also, it's very fuel efficient because of that turbocharged engine. Now, it does recommend premium gas, so make sure you account for that when you're shopping. But in my opinion, it's very worthwhile. In this package, the RX 500 is also a step up. So we have things like this little driver monitor, which does tell you when you keep your eyes away from the road or if you're too busy looking at a dog walking down the street than where you should be looking. However, because of that sensor, we have this thing called traffic jam assist. What traffic jam assist is, is as you're driving on the highway, if you hit traffic, not literally, but like figuratively, if you hit some traffic, the car will give you the option to totally let go of everything and sort of relax for a few moments with your eyes on the road still. And that just gives you a little bit of a break from the driver fatigue. Also, this package has auto park, the advanced park feature, which I did demonstrate on my TX video, but I do find really cool. Would I use it every day? No, but I do like that it is there. Okay, so what about the stuff that you're gonna use every day when driving the RX 500H? Well, one of them is the phone holder, and yes, my iPhone has a background picture of myself. That is true, that did happen. But we have this little key charger in there, wireless charger, and you could shut the trap door so that it's not really a distraction, it's in there. The only downside is you gotta remember it's in there because so many times I get into the office and start feeling around and my phone is still safely in my car out of sight. So pros and cons. Also we have the classic Lexus cup holder that you can push down so that it could fit an extra large coffee if you wanted to or to really secure that water bottle. For some reason the RX is one of the only vehicles with that sort of up and down cup holder. So when driving the RX 500 every day, a few things that you're gonna love is the cruise control. So the radar cruise control with the new Lexus Safety Sense is very accurate and I use it pretty much even in the city. But also we have these intelligent smart touch things. And what they are is the new version of the steering wheel controls that show you up on the heads up display some customizable options and it's very intuitive and once you set them up the way you want them to it's super easy to use and you can do a lot of things without having to touch anything in fact i think lexus saved on like 50 buttons to be able to do everything through this and that screen but also while driving every day the proactive driving assist is by far my favorite safety feature and what that is is it creates this little bubble around the rx and makes it so that if the person in front of you slows down, so does your car. 
but also if someone jumps out, the car will also be able to navigate that as well. So here's another cool driving aspect that no one else will be able to show you. Four wheel steering. We did an experiment. We put the 500H beside the RX350. The 500H, by the way, has four wheel steering. The RX350 does not. And a lot of people will say, well, there's barely a noticeable difference. But we took a drone and we had them both in a parking lot and did circles and it was noticeably different that the 500H with more horsepower, more components, heavier vehicle all around could do a circle in a much tighter radius than a regular RX 350H or a regular car for that matter. So a live scenario of that. Imagine this, you're driving down the road and it's a narrow country road and you pass the driveway that you're supposed to go into or you know, the turn that you're supposed to do. Instead of having to do a five point turn on a live road because you can't turn around anywhere else, you can just very quickly do a U-turn because of that turning radius is so much tighter. If anything, it'd be dangerous not to have a car that has four wheel steering. Okay, so sitting in the back of the RX 500H, there's just enough room. So I'm six foot one, I have lots of space. If there was another passenger back here, they would also have lots of space. And if there was a third one back here, we would still be okay. But what I'd like to see is that Lexus didn't cheap out on the rear seat in any way possible. What I mean by that is we also have that same ultra suede trimming off these seats, but also trimming off these door panels. And again, Mark Levinson all through the sound system in this one. And also we don't just have heated seats in this row. We also have cooled seats. So usually you have to go to like a flagship SUV for something like that. And this one has it because of the package, a beautiful armrest that has cup holders and a little storage spot, which is nice to see. So again, for two people back here, it's very luxurious. For three people, it still works and we still have some amenities. So looking at the overall styling as a whole, the RX 500, especially in the caviar black that you see behind me, is really, really sleek and kind of Batmobile-like. But let's look at some finer details. So we have a 21 inch wheel with a really sporty Bridgestone Alenza, I think it's pronounced tire. But behind those two things, we have a massive brake setup. So a six piston caliper with some huge rotors. They're probably a fortune to replace when it comes time, but they're gonna last a long time and give you a really good stopping power. Now I will say, instead of a lot of other big brake cars that I've driven in the past that feel very touchy, these don't feel very touchy. So that means you're probably not using them to their full potential most of the time. But some other details on this side are things like the F-Sport logo. I know it's small, but this versus a regular F-Sport, there is a difference. This one has more of that titanium look. It's more of that F-Performance logo. And in fact, if I just covered up the Sport, it would look like it's a true F-Car, like the ISF and the RCF and things like that. Going in theme with the blacked out look that we see, even the mirror caps, which are usually chromed out, have black. And the chrome that is around the window sills is also like a smoked out chrome. So it really gives a black RX 500H a really dark and Batmobile-like look, as I mentioned before. And I really like that. I think it suits this type of vehicle very well. And whenever I see sort of like a blacked out version of an SUV on the road, it always catches my attention. And it suits everybody. It's very classy, I like it. Over to the back, however, there is some other details. Over to the right, my right, your left, I have a regular RX 350 in a very nice package, but the regular RX 350. You'll notice the trim on the backside is all sort of that textured plastic, which is never a big deal. It's durable, it looks okay. But when you see a very nicely painted trimmed out RX 500H, you notice that that piece just looks a little bit more crisp when it's body colored. And that's what we see here is the same sort of styling with the F-Sport sort of grills on each side, but painted to match the body. And it looks really good. Also, you'll notice we have Direct 4 with the 500H. And what that means is it's Lexus's branded all-wheel drive system, sort of like how Audi has Quattro, Lexus has Direct 4. It's a newer technology and it gives you really powerful all-wheel drive setup. The 500H has that. So another hidden feature on the RX 500H as someone who's driven one in the winter, is the hidden wiper. So up under here, we have a wiper arm that swoops down when you turn on your rear wiper. Again, outside looking in, if you didn't own one of these, you might just think that it doesn't have a rear wiper because not all SUVs do. 
But this one does, it's nicely tucked away so that in the snow time, it's not just moving the snow around because of it's covered in snow, it can really cleanly sort of wipe it all off. And this one having a digital rear view mirror, there's also a little hidden camera up there in the wiper sweeping range so that even in a snowstorm, storm, if you turn on your rear view uh, camera, you can see very clearly out the back. And if you can't, that wiper is gonna come by, clear the snow, and there you have it. So what about under the hood? So as I mentioned, we have a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine with hybrid and versus the regular 350, you'll notice the battery is gone. And what I mean by that is the regular car battery, the 12 volt big square battery. But the reason is because of we now have a bunch of electronic gadgetry. So things like electric motors and things like that. So how do you boost your car if you have a dead battery? Well, the battery's in the trunk and the trunk is power. But Lexus has a solution. So what you do is you just pop off this little fuse panel and there is a spot to clamp on a booster pack or booster cables, I guess you could say. But it's not for starting the vehicle. Although you can do it, don't do it. What you should do is hook up the booster cable to one, ground to the other, and using that power, open the trunk. Once the trunk is open, then you can boost the actual battery. And yes, there is big batteries, like hybrid batteries, located under the vehicle, which keeps that center of gravity really low under those rear seats. And there you have it. So the front of the RX 500H really goes in theme with the whole blacked out look. So we have this F Sport Performance grill. That's all black as well as black accents, black side grills. But the nice thing is with the RX 500H and a lot of higher end Lexuses, there's a lot of electronics going on up here. So we have different parking sensors. We have a heated Lexus emblem because of that's a sensor. And we also have this very intelligent triple beam LED headlight system, which if you haven't seen how a triple beam intelligent headlight system works, it's sort of like this. You know, in your normal car, you have automatic high beams. So when you know there's a car coming, your high beams shut off. The Lexus intelligent high beams, they don't shut off both headlights when there's a car coming. Instead, it does things like point those beams of light away or maybe shut one of them off because there's three on each side so that the oncoming object doesn't get blinded at all, but everything around it still gets well lit. It's like daylight and it's amazing and it's very safe and it's the way of the future. But also styling wise, we have a really nice frosted daytime running lights with amber lights as well. We have the new frameless grill up at the top here and really nice body lines on the top of that hood. And in my opinion, the caviar black is the way that this car should be bought. Now I know I've been talking a lot about features and styling and things like that. And I told you I was gonna sell you this car in this video, but I don't think I should because no one should buy this or be sold on this car, the RX 500H, until they drive it. Because as someone that has spent a lot of time in the driver's seat, that is really where this car shines. It's not the features and the electronics and all the safety stuff. Those are all great. I promise you those are great and convenient. However, driving it, having that very smooth performance hybrid powertrain with that six speed transmission, with the direct four all wheel drive system, an amazing fuel economy and Lexus reliability, which by the way, a hybrid Lexus is one of the most reliable and low maintenance cost Lexus to own. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Those are the main things, is the stuff that I can't show you here in the comfort of a showroom. So, you should come test drive one and maybe even buy this exact one that I have for sale here right now. I'm Justin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was a little bit different than my normal walk arounds. I hope you had fun. Let me know in the comments below what you thought, if I should do more videos like this, and if you would buy an RX 500H F Sport, F -Sport Performance 3. Thanks again.